Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing our Thrawn's Revenge 3.3 former preview playthrough as the Galactic Empire. In the last episode, we've had these jerks over here trying to mess around with us, but hopefully we're going to be able to stop them soon enough. And that'll mean we're able to actually build up some stations and everything in this region, which so far we haven't been allowed to do. So I don't want to just leave them over over a sky. But I feel like this fleet is our best chance to stop them. And well, let's uh, let's get you guys over here because we are building a new fleet out of that because they're going to be the ones that go after Mon Calamari most likely. Though maybe I do want the Sovereign in on that. That would be, I mean, that would make things so much easier. Do I just want to take the comms battle cruiser out of there? And yeah, I think I do. Just for that battle, and then I'll I'll turn them into a whole thing. I, I'm gonna combine, but okay, I, I'm I'm very indecisive apparently. But we are still getting our tax base up here. We have a f ground force that can probably do some damage on Fondor, but I'm gonna start by doing some damage here. Like, it's a lot of infantry, but it is just infantry. So this is all stuff that Palpatine and Cedrus are gonna thrive in. They didn't want to invade Midas, but taking out Palpatine, or taking out Terrafon is gonna go just swimmingly for him. Then I'm gonna send him down to, to Fondor, and we'll just leave Thrawn up here. Because Fondor, even though we're not gonna be focusing on the south as much yet, uh, if we can take Fondor and build it up, then that'll free up the Eclipse for a while. So we'll bring in you, we'll bring in you. I am a little bit worried about the aircraft. Uh, but let's keep them together. I suppose I should get some field bases with the amount of money we have. Palpatine, you should be okay on your own. Where's Cedrus? Cedrus, you're going with that. Okay, you each get some some nice specialized dark side troopers. Okay. Well, right now, can you bring earthquakes? Can you bring darkness? Okay, I don't want to take the other infantry out with you yet. I'll just need to keep an eye on their health bars. Palpatine should be able to get this pretty quickly. And then I'll send him towards the base. Sandra still looks like he's okay. We're gonna get this. Alright, because they only have the one fork. And I mostly just want to make sure we have these all protected. Oh, hello. I realize I told you to go and chase stuff, but can you chase these into death? The work is coming through there. Palpatine, can you slice and dice that? Okay, Cedrus, I'm a little bit worried about your health right now, but it looks like you're going to make it through okay. Ready for recon. Copy. Ready to move. Weapons ready. Okay, there's Palpatine. Palpatine. That turret is yours. Oh, he... Cedrus got stunned. Do I have anything I can pick him up with? Sadly not. Reporting. What do you want? Cedrus might get messed up by that. There's at that point nothing I can really do. I fear no one. I can try to protect him, obviously, but that only goes so far. So apparently the reason this happens 
is the Berserk ability. If another ability starts getting... Like, if there's another ability they have, and it starts to cast that animation in the middle of the Berserk ability, then it just freezes up the state of the unit. Okay, let's try to get over to Cedrus. Or over to Palpatine. Okay, we get this. And then we might be able to bomb them to death. Okay, Vork is the most important. Well, you guys are kind of scary. Oh, team should get through the base pretty quickly. Here we go. Alright, you guys just need to protect Cedrus for a second. And Palpatine, you can go finish off the base. Hopefully we're not about to fly over an AA turret of some kind. But... Here come the bombers. We're pretty high up. There you go. You're welcome, Cedrus. Do we have a new enemy? Who's the new enemy? Roger. Is that like an ad for the... Yes. The Forces of Corruption sequel? I've never... I don't know who our new enemy is. Okay. Do that. I mean, we do know what the new enemy would have been in the... Potential Forces of Corruption expansion or sequel. Right out, okay, Cedrus is dead. He got... He got stunlocked. It's the way of life. Hopefully we get Lumaya. But until then, we got one wrinkly boy. Once that happens, without the transport... ...is voyage. Okay, hopefully we can make our way right through away. the rest Moving of this, though. Area, you know what? I just gotta drop that. Time has come. It's not an ideal situation, but tactically, other than don't get Cedrus stuck. There's not much we can do there. Funnily enough, get Cedrus stuck was not part of the plan strategy, it just kind of happened. Okay. With the rain, the ac er, yeah, accuracy against, uh, against them is not going to be great. Get another of those, and I'm going to start moving you guys towards that starting landing zone. Because Palpatine's coming down this way. That'll be out soon. Because really this is now just fine things with Palpatine. Find infantry with Palpatine in particular. Ready for orders. Okay, I'm just gonna send Palpatine up north then. Yeah, uh, how are you? How are you? Like? There you go. And then if we just uh, clear out their field bases, I am ready, I bring then we'll have ready. all the infantry. Oh, there's actually Go Arana right. left. What? Our yep, base sir. is under attack. Roger. We think you're the landing zone. There they are. Reinforcement going to test it. I shall 
I canceled that. That was my bad. Hey, we got We've got to be near the end of their companies. They're all just lost in the swamp, though. Poor Cedrus. We'll have to have a funeral or something for him. Okay, there's only a couple infantry left. As long as Palpatine's not stuck now, too. Okay, there, I'll just drop that on you. They seem to have even more in the middle here. Well, we have a whole thing of field bases. We have all the... There we go. We're good. We have Terrafon. Unfortunately, we did lose Cedrus. But he knew what he was getting into. System control achieved. The Pawnee Sector, we get Corve, all the little scavengers clawing at scraps of the Empire are beneath contempt. You, however, have proven yourself capable. Thank Building you. Under construction. It's always nice to be recognized. Uh, I don't know if we really want a hypervelocity gun here. But we do want a Palpatine over there. Because he's going to be useful taking... Uh, taking Fondor, and I would also like to use him to queue up some units when he's at this. Um, uh, hmm. You've got to go to Roman. Drost is good for golems, but complete. I'm not really doing much with golems right now. Right away. Oh yeah, we're sending Palpatine through there. Tactical battle oh hello, ahead. that's 376 to 38. We have a golem too, and we have a hypervelocity gun, and we have the other stuff. Majestic MC80B. I might just retreat. Like, the nice thing about Krelly is it'll be easy to take, apparently. They only got one unit. And they're coming from Mercana, apparently. Okay, I'm not thinking we're going to be able to hold this. I'd like to just do a bit of damage with the hypervelocity gun and then retreat. So that when the next fleet comes in, we can win without too much trouble. Because we have a goal in two. We have the... The frigate shipyard. So if I can kill you. Okay, one more shot and we should be down a brand. I have special eyes. Course set. Like, a lot of you are not good for anti-ship damage, but you do have a lot of, like... Oh, we can't retreat anyways, so that's... never mind. But they do have some of the Belaruses, they have Republic. They're not lacking in anti-ship damage, but... Like, considering the overall context. But if you think about the overall makeup of the fleet, if I had more ships here, that is where they are. A little bit more behind. Okay. 
I mean, if we could Our kill some of those on the way in, it'd be just nifty, wouldn't it? Taking fire. Okay, can you guys turn around now? We might be able to take advantage of this. Because they are, they're keeping some back with, uh, with Brand as well. Okay, let's see if I can kill you in two shots. Commander, they're hitting us. No, not quite. Damn. The bonus from the other one saved him. Okay, well, I think we're gonna have to try to focus on that. Well, Great Red Dragon and a claim to fame. You gotta make it worth our while, because I don't think we're getting out of here alive. Okay, I think we kind of just gotta power to weapons and plow through as many of these as possible. Yeah, we're about to lose the station. Well, I guess they're warriors, not agave, so... They do have the assault conks. Yeah, there's the, there's the interdictor. I don't think we're gonna have... Anything left when the hypervelocity gun is ready again to take out Brand's engines here. Nowhere to run. Come on, run! Nowhere to go. Okay, we should be just just able to do it. Attack formation. I might miss, but I couldn't take the risk. Okay, cool. Cover me now. Well, not great, but they shouldn't be able to move out from the Lost Fleet. We lost a claim to fame, Great Red Dragon, Claude Monet, Garlic Knot, and Strike Cruiser, which was a named unit. It wasn't just a Strike Cruiser. Our other fleet should be coming in, and they only have one hero there, and we're going to have the Hyper Velocity Gun. So what's going on at Mercana? If the New Republic is going to do that, then that means they think they have the means. And I think that means that we means to Moving out. get our Tactical shit battle. together. Okay, 315 to 221. So not great still, but with the hypervelocity gun and with the makeup there, I mean, we can't retreat is the only other thing. Well, if we can kill their bonus guy, do I even have a Pathfinder? The enemy is approaching. No, that's not great. If we can kill the Pathfinder, or the hero. He's not going to have a bonus on him, so it's still going to just be like two or, or rather three or four shots to kill him. Roger that. We're on the move. Well, let's uh, kill them as they come. We're going to have a bit of reinforcements. Once we have the HV gun down, or we have Burke down with it, then we can move to the Endurance, I think. You're 4774, you're 5600. I think the Endurance is the better one to go for it. Really, I should probably hit the Defender after we kill Burke. But once we have Burke down, the command bonus is in our favor. They're a lot more grouped than last time. But we're about to take out you. And that'll be 25 pop cap effectively down. It won't kill him on this one. But, I mean, he'll just be taking up pop cap. Like, that's not... 
It's not really doing much for him between Roger now that. and when he actually dies. Uh, our fighters and bombers are similarly not going to be accomplishing all that much in this battle. But we can at least uh, give it a try. Watch for enemy ships. So the one weakness of the smaller ships is that they do start losing capabilities sooner than the larger ships, even if they can spread their fire more effectively over time. So that works out in my favor. Unfortunately, they do still have a pretty decent command bonus, right? Because what are... Burke is tier three. Yeah. Destroyer standing by. Enemies in range. Uh, Attack that target. Target locked. Attacking target. Star Losing destroyer power. reporting in. Taking them out. Command I don't want to take you guys. off of that, but I do want to make sure we kill their interdictors. We don't exactly have. A guaranteed win here. They have more units than us. They have fleet tenders too. Okay, if I don't concentrate fire more, if they have fleet commander or fleet tenders, then we're kind of just wasting damage. Which is kind of sad when we want to kill a an interdictor. Changing course to intercept. Where are you? We've lost the iron cannons. Hey. I got one. Hyper velocity. Gun on that. We are gonna lose Pradji. Where'd he go? I mean, I can't take another hit like that. Nowhere to run. Losing control. Okay, I think we need to just shoot him down. Focus fire a bit more on these. Okay, I think we should be able to get the interdictors. I don't know if we want to leave anymore. Hell yeah, like we're we're starting to get through everything that's gonna damage us. So other than Pradji, I think we can win this without losing anything else. I just need to focus on the Belarusas, I think. Yeah. I think we got it. At least we're not going to lose another capital ship. We might lose Vendito. Yeah, because we lost Pradji, we lost Interdictor. But other than that, I think we're coming out pretty safely here. As long as we keep focusing on these little guys, we'll have the hyper velocity gun to get something in a second. The defenders a bit scary. Okay, I need to I need to make sure we take out the villagers because those are doing a lot of damage. And even with the fleet tenders, I think we've got the damage to, to pump through them. There we go. Alright, HV gun. Nope, there you go. Alright, that's good. Can anyone else see him? Where are the others? Enemies in range. I can't stay out here. Well, I'm glad I didn't try to retreat, but I don't love losing Kraji. We have like the comms battle cruiser and stuff now, so it's not like we are super behind. We've also got the uh, the Maldrude forces that have been integrated, and we're building more stuff, so. Lost a cruiser, deference to darkness, Vendito, and Praji. But we took out two of their heroes. We took out a good 300 pop of units on top of that. So, you know what? 
Could be worse. Could be worse. If we'd had Ravine there, it would have been even better. But he was busy. So we're getting Thunderchild. We're getting Great Day of His Wrath. And then let's queue up White Doll. We'll get Strike Cruiser. Strike Cruiser. And I really want to send Thrawn or you guys. I think Thrawn is actually what we're going to do for that. Because that is above 300 pop. Of course. So let's go that way. Construction complete. And let's save on the way in. Still don't know what Mercana's deal is going to be. We'll have to see. Uh, you can go over there? Yeah, okay. So hopefully, if uh, if we're able to clean these guys out, which we have a Hypervelocity Gun, we have a Thrawn, we have a World Devastator, we have an Allegiance, we have... A, like, it, it's a good fleet. It's a good fleet. We should be proud of it. The enemy should be very proud. Of it. Still a little nervous, because... They've got another... Bulwark in reserve. Choose your reinforcements. Fallout. Like Thrawn's command bonus, though. Thrawn's command bonus, though. All right, Thrawn's Move fist. I call, babe. Attack two. Depredator. No evidence unpunished. And navigating to coordinate. That BSD. Dreadnought heavy. Okay, we're gonna let them come in, and hopefully we'll get another shot in with our. Uh, with our hypervelocity gun on that MC90. Going to hopefully be able to leave that to the MC90. Awaiting orders. We should have an advantage on fighters. It's not like the most fighter-heavy fleet, but we should at least have an advantage on it. Copy. A slight advantage. To the point that I wonder if we should get into there now. Do you have any engines? Did we take out the engines? We took out the engines. That's actually super lucky. So I'm just going to do that. Are there only two on the map right now? Okay, so they have a, an MC-90 and a Bulwark in reserve. Okay. Step one, just rinse this Bulwark as fast as possible. I don't know why I've started... Like, over the last couple days, I've started saying rinse. And I don't... I didn't hear anyone say it. I'll usually happily steal things people say, but this isn't that. I don't know where I got it recently. Like, I've heard it before, obviously, or else I wouldn't just assume it's a thing people say at all. But I don't know over the last little while where I've heard it that I was... That I felt the need to appropriate it. The lasers are our target. Admiral Thrawn reporting. Take it hit! Focusing on Okay, Thrawn. Get that. You guys get that. Incoming. I got it. Someone's on my tail! Someone show my tail, Jay. Awaiting you have something. Okay, this could get messy. Target at maximum firepower. The rinsing is a Proceeding. I think I need to. I think I need to switch some of the rinses. No, you need to stop. Okay, we've got those. We're about to get through that. This is a really bad place for you. That's Thrawn. Thrawn is okay. Destroy that launch bay. Commander, Four they're hitting us. Fire at will. Okay. Where do you I think I need here? you two to just Our target priority. take out the launches? turbo lasers on that. Weapons ready. Direct fire at their laser cannons. Target those lasers. Okay. Direct fire at their laser Copy. cannons. Attacking. Yeah, that's turbo Copy. lasers mostly down. Ready for the kill. Let's get this dauntless, I guess. Reporting. Except for you uh, still going for here. 
Yes, sir. Falling out of formation. Attack position. Yeah. Coming around. I think we still have the. You have need of my skills. Uh, hands vulnerability. No, that'll be just shy for that. I'm on him. Go out. I already have a plan. At your command. Okay. You please get out of there. You please get into there. Eliminating destroyer reporting in. You please aim the right way. Like, there's still a dot or a bulwark to get in, and that is now going to happen with a bunch of people facing weird directions. Can I just get you out of there? Can I get you to like do something useful? Returning to your position. Attack position. Ready for the you out of there. Your command. I got it. Get you further into there. Intercepting. Your command. Watch your man. Yeah, I guess we're just kind of spinning them around. Oh, they're actually leaving. Uh, you know what? This might be the best I can hope for. Intercepting. Given the mess of how this is going right now, like yeah, they'll get out with the don with uh, one of the bulwarks. They'll get out with one of the MC90s, but everything else is gone. And I, if they jumped in another bulwark, we would have started losing stuff. This is going somewhere else right now, which means it's never going to be my problem. That's how that works, right? We're good. Everyone can come. It's fine. But that should set us up to be able to finish off the Hapes cluster. Uh, that should, yeah, that should retreat to Shidumad or Roku Depot. Uh, and either way, because I don't think it's going to make it down to Telesia. I think it's to one of these two. Uh, but yeah, if we can take Roku, Hapes, and Shidumad, then we only need two of these planets defended. We have like three or four sections in there. I don't know what's going on with Mercana. Oh, I actually do know what's going on with Mercana. That is something we will have to deal with next time. Because that is a... It's not, eh, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. But we'll be hopefully taking Ton Falk, Mon Cal, that fleet over Mercana, Ape Shidomat, and Roku Depot over the next couple episodes. But for now, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.